dear viewers, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. Have you checked out properly what's there in the thumbnail today? We have said great Shiksha, a huge six, a huge six of what? A huge six of a perfect answer. So as a student or if you consider at large, we always want to answer a question perfectly. But most of the time, we find it really difficult to answer a question perfectly, specifically when we are asked a longer question. So this is our topic today. Here we are going to discuss over how to produce a perfect answer for any question for any level either primary or secondary or higher secondary or even college or university so you are going to find this video much interesting and much useful so stay glued to this it's going to be a very short video and a perfect one so let's begin so the first question that uh, I would ask you, could you tell me what is a perfect answer? Yes, dear friends, a perfect answer means to the point, very much related to the topic. So your answer must be to the point. This is the first quality that your answer must have. It must be to the point and on the other hand, your answer must be very much relevant to whatever you have been asked. That's the question. So most of the time where we suffer, we fail to find out which particular data to put for that question and there we suffer. We have a very simple fact here to learn. Whenever you have been asked a question, you must find out a one word answer for this. Now you may ask me, how is it possible if I have been asked uh, to write it down in say 300 words? Yes, dear friends, it's possible. You won't find any such question which cannot be answered in a single word. So, how would you find this out? This is very simple. You must relate the question with the relevant information here the question is demanding. So, here we may uh, make a sense by using an example. The example is from the great Mahabharata. There, the great Guru, Dronacharya, has asked all his disciples to shoot a bird. The bird was there on the trunk of a tree. All the other students, all his disciples, except the great student of Dronacharya, Arjuna, except him, all the other students said, we can see the bird, the fruits, flowers, blue sky, and so many other things. But when he asked Arjuna, he said, I see nothing but the eyes of the birds. Yes, dear friends, there lies the problem. We fail to find out the eye of the bird. For a question, you start speculating over so many other things. Whatever is there in that text, whatever is related to this but you fail to find out the one word answer for this question and why is this this is because lack of your complete concept you must have a detailed knowledge of what you have read you must have a complete concept of what's there in that particular question and when you find the question, 
you would find out the one word substitution or the one word answer for this question. Now, if it's a question which demands you answer in a single sentence, obviously you would present that information only. If it's a short answer type question, you would elaborate the same point with some support from the text and if you have to write down a narrative in this answer some other points which are relevant to this and then support your points with the reference from text and you would find that the answer has got to the point and perfect and there you want to write down even a single word which we may call excessive and your answer would be treated as a perfect one. So this is how you can hit a siksha. So to hit a siksha that is to make a perfect answer you must be Arjuna and not other Pandavas or Kauravas. Yes, your aim must be at the eye of the bird. That's the tricks. Apply this and tell me how it likes. And obviously, I'd wait for your answers in the comment section below. Write down comments. And if you stumbled upon this channel for the very first time, there you have the subscribe button which you would have to click.